Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World. Today we are in the beautiful city of Prague and honestly with beauty like this, you think that nothing could bother you. And that's the thing is there's not always things you hate about traveling. Sometimes it's just these little things that annoy you. And today what we have for you are 10 little annoyances that travelers have when they travel. And the first annoyance is the weather. Look, you can control where you stay. You can control the restaurants you go to and how bad your hangover is, but you cannot control the weather. And that's one of those little annoyances when you wanna go and explore a beautiful city. And, oh, I'd love to have the beautiful blue sunrise behind me, but it's cloudy today. So no videos of the beautiful sunrise on Charles Bridge. <clears throat> Look, bad weather happens when you do travel. I've been in England where the rain is going horizontally and a freak snowstorm in Finland kept me from getting on a plane once. These things do happen. And what I say is with the weather annoyance, make sure you look ahead for that 10 day forecast to see what the weather is going to be like when you're there and go for the hourly forecast to see what's going to be like hourly as well. Cause like, for example, today it's supposed to rain here in Prague, but not in the morning. So I'm here in the morning. That's why it's so empty around here. Okay. It's rather early on a Sunday morning. So I can do these things to beat the weather so do check that out and if you are in a town and there is bad weather that day how always have backup plans what museums do you want to see what are some things you can do inside so you don't get drenched in that bad weather but that's the first little annoyance is the weather it's just just the way it is the second annoyance we have is the lines or the line culture because when you're coming to travel and you want to see these great museums the last thing you want to do is wait in line to go see the Mona Lisa and sometimes it feels like you're waiting in line longer then you actually will spend inside the museum and that gets a little bit frustrating. Um, so what I do recommend is if you're going to some museums that are really popular, like the Louvre, or the Uffizi or whatever, or going to go to the Coliseum or the, or, or something like that, make sure you get a, you know, pre-book your tickets so you can just walk up and walk right in as opposed to having to wait in line a long time because a lot of these museums want to help control the amount of people coming in and if you buy your ticket online it can give you an exact time so you can plan your time out. So, oh, I have a, a, a Fizi ticket for two o'clock. Okay, I can go there get there at two o'clock, enjoy Florence for the morning, and then go to the museum at two. So that, that's the next thing I wanna say. The third annoyance about traveling is a lot of places in Europe, especially Sunday is no shopping day. All the stuff is closed. Now the museums are open, which is nice, but Sundays it's hard to do a lot of the tourist shopping. Now it's not everywhere you go, but it is enough that it gets kind of annoying. And also Sunday evening, a lot of places closed down. So even the restaurants, so it does get kind of frustrating as a tourist and annoying when you're like, I'd like to do shopping. I, I've saw my sights on I came in Friday for my weekend weekend getaway I saw sites Friday night and Saturday I went to all the museums so Sunday I want to spend some money and nothing's open so that is a bit frustrating and that leads into the fourth little frustration we have is um a lot of places in Europe on Monday the museums are closed so if you're going to do that long weekend come Thursday night and have Friday be your extra day not Monday because Monday you can do your shopping but you can't do a lot of sightseeing because a lot of museums are closed now not every museum so what I would uh, would say is if you are someplace on a Monday and you do want to see museums you might have to search a little bit to find which ones might be open because we were in Munich on a Sunday last week and most of the museums were, were closed except their, the residence was open and one of the one of the pinotechs but everything else was closed we're like oh nothing to do on a Monday so so that is kind of annoying there now the fifth little annoyance you have are the toilets. Look, sometimes you have to pay for toilets, sometimes you don't have to pay for toilets, but you're never really sure and they're always asking for coins. And we're more or less a, you know, a cashless society these days with cards. And so sometimes you're in, you're in, you know, in Venice and you want to need to use a bathroom there. Well there, you either have to pay when you go, you go to a restaurant and buy something to get to use their bathroom or use the public toilets which are two euros. You're like, wait a minute, I don't have any two euro coins. I just got off the plane. I've got 50 euro notes. I don't have anything else. That is kind of annoying out there. So if you are looking for that, I do recommend if you know you're gonna be eating soon or something like that, use the restroom when you can. Always potty before you leave the hotel or when you go back by your hotel, do stop in again so you don't have to worry about that. There are a lot of places you don't have to pay, but it does pop up every so often and that is a little bit annoying. Oh, also the, the, the annoying grossness of the train bathrooms throughout Europe, they could be pretty gross, okay? Because think about it, you go in the bathroom and ah! things happen. Now the sixth annoyance is not knowing if you have to tip. Some countries you do have to tip because the people don't make much money that are the service. Places like the US where you tip 15 to 20%. Here in the Czech Republic, they don't make much money. So you usually tip about a ten, about 10% if you're a tourist when you're here, you wanna do those things. But other countries, you don't tip because service is included. But how do you know? And so what I recommend is we have a whole series of videos of do you tip or how do you tip in different countries. So check those out to help you out because some places it makes a really big difference for 
the people, like in the US. Whereas other places, so in, in Austria, they get paid really well and they get tipped. So it is one of those things that is annoying, not sure if you're supposed to do it or not do it, or is it too much or too little or whatever, that can be a bit much. Now the seventh little annoyance is when you don't know the little bit of culture differences that can make a big difference. For example, in Portugal, when they bring you the bread and the cheese and the ham and all those things, you pay for each one of those things. You pay for the olives, you pay for the bread, you pay for the butter, okay, kind of stuff. And you're like, oh, I didn't know that because in the last country I was in, in Germany, they gave me the bread and the butter for free. And that can get confusing. And if you're not sure, do ask, hey, is this free or not? Because you might not know. And sometimes they'll be insulted. Of course it's free. And other times will be insulted well of course you pay and so just just make sure you ask if you're not sure okay now the eighth little annoyance I've found when I travel are the random bank holidays or random national holidays that seem to always fall when you travel. And you're thinking, oh, a random Tuesday in January, we shouldn't have any problems. Oh, it's the day of the three kings. Oh, everybody's traveling, everybody's off of work, nothing is open, you're like, <sighs> and you just don't know when these things happen. And so you might miss out on something because there's one day where no one's working or something's going on. It is one of those little tiny things. It doesn't happen often, but when it does happen, you're like, really? A reduced schedule today, it's a Tuesday. Oh, it's King Venislaw's day or, or it's you know, it's Mendoga's day or whatever. You're like, I'm confused. And that's one thing you would never know when you were a tourist. So if there are any, any special things coming up, I always ask the front desk when I get there, hey, are there any festivals going on? Is there anything we should look forward to? And usually they say, oh, Thursday is this holiday so that you might wanna do this or try this food, these kind of things like that. Now, the ninth little annoyance that I find is the random need for an international driver's license. Depending on where your license is from, and if you're from the US, it might be which state you're from, some countries will accept your normal driver's license, and some will require that you have an international driver's license. We had an Italian friend that was running cars in the US when he came to, <laughs> when he came to one state to rent a car. They said, no, you need your international driver's license. Luckily, he had it. He went to another state and rented another car there, and they're like, yeah, sure, no problem. Didn't ask for anything. And we've been to Greece where we were told you don't need it, but then you really actually do need it in Greece and we got there and they're like oh no no you have to have it. I'm like you, you here's your letter saying we, we're okay you're like no sorry I'm like it's your handwriting didn't matter so a little annoyance with it so I do recommend get your international driving license and if you're gonna go down to South America they actually have a different international driving license than the all other international driver license it is kind of a pain but that's just the way it is. And the 10th annoyance that's out there is any fee that the airlines have put on our flights or our baggage or anything over the last 10 or 15 years. Remember when you used to fly, you got to have a full soda and you got to have a snack and you got to have some food in the bathroom and all this kind of stuff. Now it seems like they nickel and dime you to death. So if you want, yeah, oh yeah, we'll give you water. But if you want a soda, you gotta pay for that. You want something to eat, you're gonna pay for that. Oh, you want water? Well, we have bottles of water you can buy. And you're like, come on people. And then of course the luggage, Oh, well, it used to be, oh, two check bags for free. And then it was one check bag for free, pay for the second one. Now you're paying for your first one. And some airlines make you pay for your carry-on. Like, look, at least my backpack I should be able to come on with. Oh, no, no, you need to pay for that as well. And so that is quite annoying. So my... <laughs> My overall advice for all these annoyances is just roll with it. This is part of traveling to explore and find the little eccentricities out there that make traveling wonderful and slightly annoying sometimes. Anyway, if you want to learn more about traveling around the world, please check us out on our website at waltersworld.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, all these places. And we really appreciate your likes and subscriptions. And we hope you have a great time traveling. And don't let the little annoyances get to you. Bye from Prague.